In Kent, there's a certain energy behind these teens' test laps. We're the Holy Solars. The Holy Solars. Just look to the sun. It gets up to about 35 miles an hour. And see where it takes you. I mean, we spent uh, about two years working on it, uh, two terms each year, and all, for all from scratch. Pure electricity, nothing else. On a lot off of Main Street, education meets innovation. And the algebraic meets the photovoltaic. This is an extension of our engineering program. These are the holy solars. They're the Kent School's race team, two-time champions, and heading back to the Solar Car Challenge. It's six hours a day for four days. Next stop, the Texas Motor Speedway in Fort Worth. Sitting low profile, rising senior Solomon Waken is at the wheel. I mean, really exciting. You get to travel across the country to do this cool competition. I got to drive on a racetrack. I drive on a NASCAR track, which is pretty cool. It all happens at the Texas Motor Speedway next week. 32 teams from 12 different states. It's, it is very amazing. Uh, we get to work where all the pit crews work. Uh, we get to sit in pit row. It's pretty cool being there where actual NASCAR races take place. This is the critical thinking, is the creativity, is the collaboration, the communication happening at the same time. What kilowatts go where? That's what will take them the extra mile for the marathon race. Looking at it now, I'm pretty confident to say that we have a good chance. It'd certainly be a bright future, no pun intended, to uh, be able to use solar power like this. I, you know, I hope stuff like this changes the world. I hope everyone here could help change that fact and use more renewable energy like uh, the sun. In Kent, Jim Altman, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.